we have just successfully installed htop utility and now let's run it. htop. And now you see that this utility shows processes in more nice looking way and you could perform different actions with every single process. For example, you could select process by using up and down arrows like so. For example, let's select htop process and let's kill it. For that you could use F9 key. Let's press it. F9. And now you could select uh, in this left section which signal will be sent to process you want to kill. And you could send different signals. And uh, by default, when you want to stop specific process, you usually send seek term signal. Let's select this signal and press enter. Send. And HTO process was terminated. And if I have a look at the running processes now, I will not see HTO process here in this list. All right, let's start htop once again. Actually, let me make it uh, a bit larger like this. And let me also show you how you could perform different uh, setups uh, for this output. For that, you could press F2 key, F2 like this, and you could select which meters you want to see in different sections. For example, here in left column, by default, you see CPU usage, memory usage, and swap usage. If you want, you could move, for example, this memory up, like so. And you'll see that memory was moved and now it is placed before CPU, like this. Let's press enter in order to finalize moving action. And now let me show you how you could add additional available meters to this left or right columns. And let's, for example, select the host name and add it to this right column. And you'll see that host name of this computer was appeared here in this right column. All right. Also, you could perform different other actions like change colors. For example, let's adjust theme and let's choose this one, light terminal. No, it looks bad. Let's choose this one and let's go back to default. And also, you could change display options, add some additional parameters and so on. That's how you could modify view of HTOP utility. Great. Also, in this output, I wanted to show you this column, command. And this column shows specific corresponding command that was used for start of corresponding process. I have told you that when you enter any command, Linux simply starts process. That's it. And in this case, you see that this root process was started using bin bash command. And this bash process was started simply by bash command. And difference here appears because by default, when you start new Ubuntu container, there is default command that is executed when container is created. And this command is bin bash. And actually, you could start every process using either full path to corresponding executable file. Or you could use shortcut if Linux knows about location of corresponding executable file. And we could use bash command because there is path variable that holds different paths to bin folders that hold different utilities. And bash is located in one of such folders. That's why you could use either full path to corresponding utility or short version like bash or htop. Let me show you that quickly. Let me exit from htop. For that, press F10. And here, let me do following. Let me clear terminal first, make it a bit larger. And let's find path to htop utility, which htop. Here is its path. And I could use this path in order to start htop process. Let me copy it, paste here, and press enter. And I see again htop process that is currently running. But now in this table, I see that the htop process was started using user bin htop command. All right, that's how you could use htop utility in order to monitor running processes. And please notice that this nice looking application is actually running inside of the terminal. It is terminal application. All right, that's all for this lecture. And next, let me show you list of processes on other computer where I have separate Ubuntu installation, not container. I'll see you next, guys. Bye bye.